in this question we are um, it is written that disclosure of share capital in companies balance sheet gopal limited was registered with an authorized capital of rupees 50 lakh divided into equity shares of rupees 10 each the company offered for public subscription all the shares public applied for 4000 lakh 50000 shares and allotment was made to all the applicants all the calls were made and were duly received except the final call of rupees 2 per share on 500 shares prepare the balance sheet of the company showing the different type of share capital here in this first question we are showing the entire the entire format of a company's balance sheet and the items will be shown in total but actually where the amounts are appearing those one line should have been shown including the total but i am here telling you all the items that would appear hence answer one balance sheet of gopal limited as per schedule 6 part 1 of the companies act 1956 as at date there will be four columns column 1 particulars column 2 note to accounts column 3 figures at the end of current reporting period figure 4 column 4 figures as at the end of the previous reporting period 1 equity and liabilities in the number 1 shareholders funds will be there under this share capital we will be discussing about the note one later on that is one note one and the amount being 44 lakh 99000 then comes reserves and surplus then c money received against share warrants then second point share application money pending allotment the application money we have received but we have not allotted the shares it is pending then third non current liabilities non current liabilities means long term borrowings b part deferred tax liability income tax demand received by us not paid by us c other long term liabilities d long term provisions for current liabilities current liabilities that means a part short term borrowings b part trade payables c part other current liabilities d part short term provisions then total then in the asset side we will have non current assets first under this a fixed assets under under fixed assets there will be tangible assets two intangible assets third capital work in progress semi constructed buildings semi installed machines four intangible assets under development goodwill under development b part non current investments c part deferred tax assets net how much we have paid in advance d long term loans and advances e other non current assets two current assets a current investments b inventory c trade receivables d cash and cash equivalents e short term loans and advances f other current assets then total then notes to accounts one share capital authorized 5 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each rupees 50 lakhs subscribed and called up capital 4 lakh 50000 shares of rupees 10 each that is rupees 45 lakhs less calls in arrear rupees 1000 that is 44 lakh 99000 500 shares at the rate of 2 each then 2 cash and cash equivalents cash at bank 44 lakh 99000 and this is all about the answer 1